Hey, what's up, everyone? How's it going? Welcome to another episode of Mark Cruz Media. If you are new to this channel, thank you for visiting. This channel is all about video production, photography, and drone tutorials. And in this video, you can clearly see that we are inside After Effects uh, because I want to share with you how I fixed and saved this would be introductory shot to one of our car review videos. This is the raw footage. And let me play it for you. Okay, so this is the car we're supposed to review. And to me, it's an okay shot. But I'm sure you all will agree that it would be even better if we didn't have this utility vehicle right here. So that's what I did. I edited this footage and got rid of this utility vehicle right here. And uh, this is what I came up with. Let me show it to you. So you, here you see that the utility vehicle is gone and was replaced by this mound of dirt right here this is actually just a copy of this in here but if we play it back you can see that it perfectly interacts with all the elements inside of the video so that is what we are going to do right now i'm going to show you how i came up to this some of you may already know the approach to this or it may even have a better solution to this this is the method that i chose and i'm not saying that this is the only method there are a lot of approaches to this and i hope someone from you out there finds value in this so let's get started i'm gonna get rid of this now the first thing that i want to do is uh, i want to duplicate this raw footage so I'll hit Control and D on my keyboard to duplicate that. And I'm going to go to the very first frame right here. And I'm going to right click on that copy and go to time and freeze frame. So what we did right here is we froze the video into this frame. So even if we scrub through this timeline here, you will see no movement because we converted this video into a still frame. If we shut the eye off on this layer, you will see that the video underneath is still playing but if you turn the eye back on you will see that the still frame is on top of it so i am going to zoom in and uh, so i'm gonna change my resolution to full so i can see the picture clearer and what we're gonna do is we're gonna copy this mound of dirt right here so we could put it on top of that utility vehicle so for that i'm gonna use the pen tool over here and I will start drawing across. Okay, so just draw, just draw the outline of this mount. Doesn't have to be perfect. As a matter of fact, the more imperfect this is, the better. Because we do not want this to look like an exact copy of this image. So immediately you can see the only visible part on this layer is this mound that we drew our pen around on because of that it revealed the underlying layer beneath if i shut the eye off on the original footage you can see that what i'm saying is true so with that we can now move this mound of dirt over to this utility van right here okay and i want to zoom in and uh, i want to see the edges but right now i can't because of this yellow outline so i can turn that off by clicking here and just what i thought the edges are too crisp and it's not realistic so i could feather that out by clicking here and hitting f on my keyboard for feathering so i'm gonna give it a one pixel feather i think that's okay like I mentioned, we do not want this to be an exact copy of the original right here. Right here. So right now, it's looking exactly alike. So we could transform this a little. But before I do that, I want to grab the anchor point. If I solo this layer out, you'll see the anchor point of this layer is right over here. So I want to move that into here. So we select the pan behind tool and grab that anchor point and drag it over here okay so the reason why i did that let me unsolo this the reason why i did that is for any transformations that i do to this layer will come from this origin point so if i do this it's, you see that it is transforming 
from this point okay I'm gonna give it a, a very subtle transform because we do not want to stretch the pixels okay so we can transform this but not too much okay so it's not entirely covering the utility band so we can duplicate this duplicate control D so we created another copy and we can move it right here we are showing a little of the root but from afar it is not that obvious okay so we're okay with that all right so that's it thank you for watching and I'll see you again no I'm just kidding so we are not done yet because if we scrub through the timeline here you see when this vehicle drives over you will see the mound of dirt overlaying on top of the vehicle that is because we have this layer on top of the original footage in here but we cannot put them under the footage because uh, the entire screen will cover them up so this is what we're gonna do again I am going to duplicate this original footage control D and then just where it is about to drive over the mounds and let me switch to quarter resolution here for faster rendering so just where it is about to uh, run over the mounds and I'm thinking it would be it will be here let's switch back to full okay. okay so in here this is frame 158 I'm gonna cut this by pressing ctrl shift and D to duplicate and split and I'll, I'll get rid of this uh, first half here hitting delete okay and up until the end of this frame we have we are going to create a copy of this front end of this vehicle from frame 158 up until the end of this footage we're going to create a copy of the front end of this vehicle that we could overlay on top of these mounts let me show you how we're going to do that if you are familiar with Photoshop we could uh, create a mask around the front end here and that should fix it but since we are dealing with a video here which is uh, a series of frames that would mean we will need to create a path for each of those frames so imagine from 158 from up until frame 200 205 that is a lot almost 50 frames so there is an easier solution to that and that is why I chose to do it inside After Effects. Um, that is this tool right here, the Roto Brush tool. Roto Brush. Okay, Roto stands for Rotoscoping. Rotoscoping guys is masking a series of frames in videos and it is a really tedious job. I'm not an expert on it and luckily I have this tool right here, Roto Brush in After Effects and the, the way it works is like this we want to go inside this layer right here so we double click here so now we are working inside the layer and not the composition this is the composition and this is the layer so pay attention to your tab right here okay so we can um, zoom in and then position the front end like so and brush along we can um, increase the size of the brush by holding down control and clicking and dragging upwards and downwards to scale it down upwards to uh, I mean upwards for a bigger brush so I'm gonna paint over what I want to be masked so I'll start right here you don't have to be really precise on this because there's another step that we're gonna do after so I want to include this uh, tire right here and uh, if you let go of the mouse it will create a mask of what it thinks it should be masked if that makes sense okay so this pink outline in here is our mask but it is including a lot of unwanted surfaces like this one so we could hold down the alt key on the keyboard and you can see that the, the brush for, uh, turned from green 
to red so meaning we could subtract this uh, area right here and it did so this one too but I'm gonna decrease my brush size first okay so I'm gonna remove this part right here I don't want that but I want this on this edge right here okay there and this I don't want this I don't want this either I don't think the top of the hood here matters because our mound stands up until to this height okay so right after doing that we are going to refine our edges so now we are going to refine the edges by holding down this button right here and selecting refine edge tool I I'm gonna scale down my brush even more so I'm just selecting just the edge so I can paint right here okay so that looks good if you go back to the composition and solo this layer this is our selection okay so let's go back to the layer here I want you to pay attention on this uh, part right here you can see this um, gray area here this is the area or this is the portion of the video where the, the rotoscoping effect takes place so our playhead is on the very first frame of our um, layer so we want to move this to, to be the very first frame and we want the effect to last up until the end of the video which is about there 205 I believe if we render this or if we preview this you can see that the mask is being carried along by the uh, front end of the vehicle so I'm gonna fast forward this until it uh, finishes calculating okay so now it's done calculating let's preview this all right you can see that uh, the mask stayed perfectly well on the front end of the vehicle all right so if you go back to the composition right here and uh, scrub through the timeline in here you can see that the mounts are still on top and that's because we have the layer beneath the mound so we can just move the layer on top of them and you see that you can see that the the roto work or the roto brush worked perfectly well in here so if you zoom out and play this you will see that this vehicle obscured this part of the mound right here as if it is really in the shot okay but there is one more problem and i'm sure all of you have noticed that as the dust went around yeah, about on this part right here since these mounds are on top of the original footage where the dusts are the, the, the color of the of the mounds pretty much stayed, stayed the same whereas it shouldn't be because there are dusts flying around so we want to add haze on top of them and to do that this is what i'm going to do i'm gonna select both of the mounts right here and i'm gonna press ctrl shift c on my keyboard to pre-compose this so that i am only working with one layer so i'm gonna name this mounds okay so now we have them on a single layer so what we what we want to do is to animate the exposure of these mounds as if there is haze on top of them okay so i can on here where's my uh, effects panel here uh i think this is presets okay effects and presets so on here i could um, type in curves okay and drop this on to the mounds layer okay so about about in here there about there i'm gonna press the stopwatch on the on the curves effect and then probably 
up in here I could uh, brighten this up right there and okay and we want it to go away as the dust settles down and in this shot the dust settles down okay I'm gonna select this layer here and press you on my keyboard so I can see where the uh, keyframes are all right so i think um we are about done here and let me play it for you okay all right so i hope you guys um, learned something new in here thank you so much for watching and i hope you guys picked up a few pointers in here that you could apply in your future projects that is all for this week and uh, I'd love to see you all again in my next content. See you!